New year, new content to look forward to. Do you know how many calls the cops get like that every week? Those are from crazy people. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 trailers of January 2018. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we've ranked the best film, TV, and video game trailers released throughout the month of January. Number 10, Red Sparrow. I was told to take a man to a hotel. They said that he was an enemy of the state. In the second trailer for this film by Hunger Games director Francis Lawrence, we get up close and personal with Jennifer Lawrence's Dominika Egarova. This trailer is both thrilling and chilling, painting a picture of a woman forced into a life of violence and deception against her will, only to find her allegiance is tested when she becomes close with a CIA agent, played by Joel Edgerton. I thought I saw you in the pool yesterday. Are we going to become friends? Is that what you want? Jennifer Lawrence is in her element when playing tough characters, and Egorova looks to be just about as tough as they come. For fans of spy thrillers, or any film with high stakes, Red Sparrow certainly looks promising. You belong to them. They'll never let you go. I'll find a way. Number nine, don't worry, he won't get far on foot. Well, I started drinking when I was uh, 13. I liked it. Joaquin Phoenix took a little detour back in the day with I'm Still Here, but he's bounced back in a big way. With critically acclaimed performances in films like The Master and Her, Phoenix is once again landing one great role after another. Something really profound just happened to me, man. In this upcoming film, directed by Gus Van Sant, and adapted from the memoirs of the late John Callahan, Joaquin Phoenix plays the quadriplegic cartoonist at the pivotal point in his life when he decided to quit drinking. With an impressive cast, including Jonah Hill, Rooney Mara, and Jack Black, the film looks to be a moving and honest piece of cinema. One that strikes an appealing balance of drama and dark comedy. We like you too. Makes you get to know me. Number eight, game over, man. Breaking news, a star-studded event at the Level Hotel in Los Angeles has been taken over by armed gunmen. With these three funny men reuniting for a big screen outing, Game Over Man feels a bit like Workaholics the movie, and we're totally fine with that. The entire mail order comedy team is on board and serving as producers alongside tried and tested producers of over-the-top comedy, Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. Say it wasn't me. Sing it, Shaggy! Honey came and she caught me red-handed, creeping with a girl next door. The premise of this Netflix original film? Three friends rise to the occasion and take it upon themselves to save the day when terrorists take over a hotel. What the hell are you doing? They're here to help us! We're not gonna look cool as shit getting saved by the LAPD. Do you even listen to Kendrick Lamar? It's a premise rife with opportunity for outlandish action and ridiculous behavior. Translation, the stars of Workholics are in their element. Number seven, Genius Picasso. The only way to be a true artist is to work day and night. Lose yourself in it completely. National Geographic has certainly undergone more than its fair share of changes over the years. Though its shift into the world of reality TV has drawn a fair amount of criticism, its most recent brand transition into scripted historical and scientific series might just turn things around. I need to see things in a new way. Smash the rules. <laughs> The first season of this anthology series, starring Jeffrey Rush as Albert Einstein, earned 10 Primetime Emmy nominations and a nod at the Golden Globes. For the show's second season, Genius is taking us up close and personal with the legendary painter Pablo Picasso, as played by Antonio Banderas. Based on this trailer, we're in for a seriously steamy look at the artist's life. She's his mistress? One of them. How many does he have? How many women has he painted? Number six, Altered Carbon. Your body is not who you are. You shed it like a snake sheds its skin. In the last couple years, Netflix has rocked the television industry with its high-budget original content. With Altered Carbon, the streaming juggernaut sets its sights on high-concept dystopian sci-fi and world-building on a massive scale. Leaning heavily on the Blade Runner aesthetic, this series stars Joel Kinnaman and is adapted from Richard K. Morgan's 2002 cyberpunk novel of the same name. In this second trailer, we get a better idea of the show's premise, while also getting treated to some truly jaw-dropping visuals of the show's world the size and detail of which blurs the line between television and film. I'm gonna need access that you don't wanna give. And I'm gonna find answers that you may only think you want. Teasing intense action and a complex narrative, this trailer sells altered carbon with flying colors. The mystery needs to be solved. Number five, The Strangers Pray at Night. This place seems empty. I think everybody leaves after Labor Day. A decade after the original film ruined the concept of getting out of the city for a weekend, the Strangers returns to terrify us yet again with the aptly titled sequel, Pray at Night. This time around, our unlucky protagonists, 
a family on the road, are made to regret staying in a trailer park. This first look gives us the film's basic premise before making it clear just how harrowing a ride cinemagoers are in for. When the masked strangers start terrorizing our heroes, things get terrifying fast. Leave us alone! Of course, the use of the upbeat late 80s pop hit I Think We're Alone Now, as covered by Tiffany, makes for a perfectly ironic soundtrack. Number 4. Monster Hunter World People have been understandably stoked about this title since it was first announced at E3 2017. From the announcement trailer up until now, every bit of footage we've gotten has only served to heighten the anticipation for the release of this next installment in the Monster Hunter franchise. That near-perfect review courtesy of Famitsu sure doesn't hurt either. You're on the A-list, right? Just when you thought the game couldn't get any more promising, they went and released this stunning Elder Dragons trailer, and wouldn't you know it, our level of anticipation has officially jumped off the scale. With its awe-inspiring creature design, breathtaking environments, magical tone, and thrilling combat, this trailer paints Monster Hunter World as a must-own title. Number 3. Ant-Man and the Wasp Marvel's smallest hero is returning to the big screen, only this time, he's got someone to watch his back. If I'd asked you, would you have come? I guess we'll never know. Based on the trailer, Ant-Man and the Wasp looks to deliver the same heartwarming moments, creative action sequences, and oddball sense of humor as its predecessor, only this time, times two. Maybe you just need someone watching your back. Like a partner. Lawrence Fishburne joins the already talented cast, and Evangeline Lilly returns as Hope Van Dyne, finally donning the Wasp costume that was teased in the first film. Add Michael Peña returning as fan favorite Luis, and you've got a movie that's shaping up to be crazy stupid fine. Number 2, The Handmaid's Tale, Season 2. There's something happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. After taking home eight primetime Emmys, including outstanding drama series, a first for a streaming service series, and two Golden Globes, The Handmaid's Tale returns to Hulu for a second season. And by the look of this first trailer, season two will be delivering all the drama, suspense, and high stakes we loved in season one, only amplified. It's time we stop, children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Coming in at only a minute in length, this trailer is jam-packed full of foreboding imagery, masterfully stitched together with quick cuts that will leave you holding your breath and your heart racing. The haunting rendition of Buffalo Springfield's anti-war anthem, for what it's worth, serves as the perfect soundtrack to this dystopian resistance. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The responsibility is far greater. Jaeger pilots, do you understand? One way to find out. You're gonna give me some uh, trouble, big boy? Or are you gonna channel that famous Amish serenity? <laughs> Number one, Nintendo Labo announcement trailer. Considering the jaw-dropping visuals that game developers can deliver on modern consoles, we're treated to more than our fair share of impressive gaming trailers these days. But only Nintendo could get people this excited about cardboard. Proving that the Nintendo Switch is just one step in the company's never-ending mission to change the way we think about gaming, this unexpected and unexpectedly awesome trailer for Nintendo Labo will tap right into your desire to not only play a game, but be a creator as well. The trailer is whimsical and imaginative, appealing to the kid in all of us who yearns to build things, not just in a 3D space, but in the real world. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.